Hey guys, Tigri Tigre here. Here we have another tour review. Here in front of us we have the Zuden Sentai Kyoyuger Gabba Revolver. This is the main henshin device and main weapon for the new team of Super Sentai. Let's take a look at the box here. As you can see we have the Gabba Revolver. We have Koyu Red here. We have the two beast batteries that come with the toy. And we look take we take a look at the top and we see Gabrun Cho. We see the five members of Cho Koi Yuger or Cho Yuger, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, we turn to the side, we see a little picture of Cho Yu Red holding it. What the contents? The other side, a shooting pose. The same contents. We go to the bottom and we see the full team here holding their Gabba revolvers. Very cool. Really like this picture here. And we take a little back. And we have a quick little reference on how uh, the beast batteries work, how to enter, uh, insert them into the Gabbro revolver, how it works with the Gabbro caliber, and how you can get more beast batteries. So that is basically it for this box. So let's take out the toy and see what it looks like. So here we have the Gabbro revolver. As you can see, it looks great. It's kind of a mix of a dinosaur head and a revolver. It also kind of looks like a soft shotgun. So it's just because you can see with the double barrel kind of thing here, but it just looks awesome. I really love this. Um, it's a really good size too for an adult hand size here. It does kind of mess up my pinky here, but still, still fits really nice. I really do like that. So um, as you can see, really nice yellow plastic here um, mixed with some black, some reds, some greens, and some uh, metallic silvers. It's very nice. Really do love that. Here is the actual revolver um, piece here where you're supposed to load up your bullets. It's the only thing that houses the LED lights in here, as you can see here. Here's the trigger, here's the hammer, here's the uh, release so you can actually close the mouth. So here's the speakers, it's just very nice. We'll turn it around here to, so we can see the exact same detailing just with the on and off switch and the battery compartment which has this, um, two AAA batteries. It's very nice. I really love that. I just keep staring at this thing and I just love this thing. <laughs> anyway, to insert the um, beast batteries, all you have to do is pull the hammer back, opens up the mouth, and it fully exposes the holes for the beast batteries here. You can either insert one or two. The bottom one's mainly for transformations and for the single attack, inserting a second one will be into the top one to insert your Vamola um, Mucha attack, which is very cool. And to close this, all you have to do is uh, pull this down and either pull uh, push down at the head or pull up the hammer. So you can either do that and you close it up and it's just very awesome. Really love this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of like rambling here because it just looks so awesome. I love this. So that is basically it for the revolver itself without lights and sounds. So let's take a look at the beast batteries. So here is the first out of the two beast batteries that come with the Gabba revolver. This is the Gabutira beast battery. As you can see here, it looks very cool. Really love the simplicity of this toy and it's basically supposed to be shaped like a battery so in my hand actually it's kind of the size of my index finger here so it's not really that big so it's kind of nice to have these kind of little small little gimmicks so uh, as you can see here we have a open mouth here on this side we have some detailing here for the electricity that's supposed to be flowing into the battery here we have on this side we have the pegs um, they can be inserted in either direction it's going to be uh, these pegs are going to trigger um, the same sound effects for either side. When we turn to the back, we see Gabutira, so we actually know how to say the names of these toys, which is uh, these dinosaurs, which is very cool. So um, the main gimmick for these toys is to actually press this button to do your Brave In, which will actually really uh, reveal the holographic sticker, which gives you a uh, better detailing of the uh, each individual dinosaur for these beast batteries. Now, a little nice function is that when you actually have it on this uh, face, it can actually glow in the dark. Now with my lights, you can't really see if it can glow in the dark, so you should get these batteries and see for yourself. So on to the next battery. Next up, we have the Stymero beast battery, number 14. As you can see, it is a uh, kind of, uh, triceratops kind of uh, dinosaur. I'm not good with dinosaurs, so sorry. Uh, you can see it's pink, so I'm guessing this would be used for um, the pink, Koryu uh, pink, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know why we got this instead of some other color, but whatever. 
Um, it's the same similar design. We turn to the back and we see the name, Stymero. And we press the button here and we can reveal the glow in the dark sticker or the holographic sticker. Which is very cool. So that is basically it for these beast batteries. So let's see how they work with the Gabber revolver. So my final thoughts on the Gap Revolver from Zun and Sentai Kyoyuger. It's a very fun toy, really love its size, really love its motif here with the dinosaur head, part shotgun, part revolver, it's just a complete mess but just sounds so cool when you say it and looks amazing when you actually get a hold of it. Um, I love its paint job, I love how it uses the lights instead of um, being in the actual nozzle, in the actual a rotating barrel with the gun and just I don't know it just seems weird but seems fun at the same time <laughs> um, uh, the beast batteries are very fun um, I think they're a little bit more interesting than the actual ranger keys um, I don't know they do they're very simple toys and a very simple gimmick but I don't know I just find the beast batteries a little bit more fun to play with but besides that everything is just basically fun with this toy you just Take a look at this toy and you just want to play with it. You just want to use it and open its mouth and insert batteries and fire like a kid. Yeah, I think that's the thing that they're going for for this toy. <laughs> so uh, that's basically the end of this review. So if you want to buy this toy and many more different toys on in the Koi, Koi Uger line, definitely check out CS Toys japan.com it's a great place and this is where i got it so definitely they're great people so if you want to find any of the links you can find them down below um if you like this video definitely hit the like and uh comment down below definitely subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot and if you want to find out more about me more about future reviews and just see what kind of toys are coming up um coming up and at least in my collection you can follow me on twitter which is twitter.com slash tdt gray 1989 so that's basically it. So uh, my name is Tigre Tigre saying thanks a lot and bye guys.